There's some really cool features that have been added to SharePoint lately. If you haven't seen it, this is your time to catch up. So we're gonna jump straight into SharePoint and I'm gonna show you how all this stuff works. Uh, hit that like button if you're excited as me about this stuff, but let's get into it. So I'm here on my SharePoint site, I'm in edit mode. What we can do is we can click on the section properties here and you'll see a new background options here. You'll be able to change it to something like this, but you could also just upload your own images. So let me copy one of my images in here. So I'm gonna upload an image. And there we go, a custom image background for a section. Now this is a pretty big section, but if we were to uh, make this a little bit smaller, actually let's, um, Let's add a new section down here at the bottom and just move some of these things down. Now, you, you see what you can do with this thing. So you can have sections to kind of make stuff pop out a little bit more, make, make content stand out. Just give it an interesting look. I think designers are really gonna be excited about this uh, with the ability to add these types of backgrounds. But they're not just going to be excited about that feature. I think this one's going to be even better, and that is image shapes. So for this next one, I'm just going to drop an image web part on the page. And then let's, uh, we could browse stock images, and I can pick, uh, how about this magnifying glass? So we'll add this. Now, obviously, the image web part isn't new, but these properties are. Take a look at this one, shape. So what this lets you do is you'll be able to apply kind of a mask to this image. Look at what this thing does. It's, it's, the image is a triangle now, uh, which actually looks works pretty well with this image too. I like that. Uh, you can make it a circle. You can uh, do squares. Interesting shapes here, a teardrop. That's kind of cool and interesting that it's the loop shape as well, I believe that's the loop shape. Very cool if you haven't tried loop uh, or pebble. So you've got different options here, but they're all they're all you know designed as, as simple ways to just kind of make your page more interesting, give you some more abilities. Now we could have you know taken this image and put it into uh, you know Photoshop or something like that, and we could have you know done the masking and, and all that to but this is so much easier isn't it just to be able to from the from the here uh if we can go back to the original at any point but to put these masks on here it it really makes things um it gives you a lot more options with what you can do with the page design uh i, I would like to see i i've been saying it for a while i still would like to see figma come into play with uh, page design with 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 active page design like taking a figma like taking a uh, if you haven't seen the sharepoint web ui kit for figma that's my microsoft produced that it lets you do sharepoint mockups i want to be able to take that and apply it into a sharepoint site i want to be able to apply these these uh designs in here but there's there's been a lot of focus on the sharepoint design and in editing experience and just what you can do in general with these pages. So I, I think maybe we'll see that kind of stuff where they're definitely focused a lot on design. And so I just wanted to take a few minutes, show you these really cool features and, and see who's tried them out. Who, who even knew that they were there? Uh, some of, some of you I know did, uh, other ones, I bet you you didn't know that these were recently added. Let me know. Let me know down in the comments below what you think of these uh, these new features to kind of add some a splash of color, a splash of design. Uh, what do you think? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you want to see uh, some of the other new things they've added, I've got a video up here that you can click on to learn more about the, the new list templates that were added and how we could use JSON to customize these things. It's really cool, and I'll see you over there.